Hey, out for my bike ride. Feels good to get out in the sun. It's a Sunday afternoon. Beautiful day in Reading. Yeah. Anyways, just wanted to take a little video shot here. here I'll pan around just so you can see where I'm at here. Um, this little park uh, in town here. Yeah, it's not too far from my house. Kind of see. There's the. Here's the bicycle. Anyways, <laughs> hey again. <laughs> Hope you didn't get dizzy from that little spin around. But uh, uh, feels good to be in the sun. Well, I'm actually in the shade right now. <laughs> Anyways, it just uh, forcing myself to do another video shot here. You know, doing these videos, I mean, I say this almost every time, and I know, I'm almost getting tired of hearing it myself, but, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, for years we always talked about, uh, you got to read, you know, good mind books, positive thinking books, success books, you know, that kind of stuff, and, you know, you got to, you know, who you hang around and uh, you become, what you listen to, what you read, what you watch, and you become, you know, I, that's true, sort of. <laughs> but I've been doing this for 35 years. And, uh, well, this Christmas will be 35 years. And what I have found that, uh, you know, it's true, but it's not true. Who you are is who you are. God made you a certain way, and that's what God wants you to be, that person he made you to be. And uh, putting your nose in a book that, uh, by an author who doesn't even know who God is, uh, even putting your nose in a book who knows who God is, you know, that's... <laughs> the best place to go is straight to God. And just spend your time in prayer. I mean, that sounds kind of like, well, what do you mean by that? You know, the uh, Apostle Paul talked about how he prayed a lot. And uh, one of the types of prayers he talked about was uh, when he was talking to, you know, quite a few people. He said, you know, I wish, there's one thing I do really do wish, he, he said. I wish every one of you guys would pray like I pray. Uh, but I know a lot of you guys aren't going to believe what I'm going to say. That's what the Apostle Paul said. And he was talking about uh, praying in tongues, praying your spirit language, you know, allow the Holy Spirit to come out and make voice with your mouth so you can hear it. And that hearing goes back in your mouth. What that does, the Apostle Paul says, is it builds your spirit. And I remember reading uh, about um, uh, Smith Wigglesworth one of the great evangelists from England uh, around the 1940s or so. And uh, he talked about all the time he spent in prayer. And uh, I, I think, if I remember right, he said something about that he never lets an hour go by without praying. Pretty Something like that. Every hour. And so when I heard that, man, it's been a long time ago since I, I read that. And, uh, you know, I didn't take it for verbatim. You know, I went to the Word of God first to see, you know, is that something that I can apply? And it just made sense to me. As I read through the Word, uh, it made sense to me, praying on a regular basis. And uh, the Apostle Paul, going back to, the, to Paul, he said uh, that every time I remember you, I pray. And so that's how I pray with a lot of my family members, my friends, people that I meet, people I see going down the road. Because, you know, I travel for a living. And, and uh, I pray for a lot of people going down the highway. Uh, I just feel led to, to, to pray. You know, when I, a lot of times the Bible talks about you don't know what to do. You don't know how to say it with your mind. Like, like I'm kind of stumbling around now with my words. But it, your spirit comes up out of your, out of inside you. It just comes out of your mouth, and it's something that your mind doesn't quite grasp. I mean, you can interpret it. Yes, you can do that. But I usually don't bother too much with interpret, unless there's something that's really important, uh, which is always important. But anyway, uh, I just pray because we don't know what's going on. 
and uh, but God does, and uh, that is where we need to stay focused. And uh, this is a Sunday, and so you know a little bit of preaching here. <laughs> So what does prayer sound like? What does a prayer, uh, what does it feel like? It's like when you, it's like developing a habit. Uh, when I th think of something, something comes to me, I pray. Lord, I just thank you. In Jesus' name, pray. You know, I just, I just say something, do something. I just point it back to God. Uh, I figure if I just keep pointing everything back to Him and don't take the responsibility on myself, but transfer it over to God. So we are more like in partnership. How much time have I spent? Five and a half minutes, six minutes. Anyways, uh, you know, we're only allowed so much time for these videos. You know, get them too long. But uh, praying is... Um, it releases your spirit, it seems like. It releases your mind. It releases something. Like, I, I spent almost two hours in my morning time in prayer. I mean, how many of us spend two hours in prayer? I usually average about an hour, hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes every day in concentrated prayer. And then throughout the day, I do what Smith Wigglesworth talked about. I, I pretty much never let an hour go by without praying. And I've been doing that for, man, over 20 years, over 20 years. And it's like, it's just second nature with me. I, I do it so so. Often, I don't even think about it. So it's not that I time myself, like, oh, an hour's gone by, i got to pray. No, it's, it, it just becomes a part of your lifestyle. It becomes a who you are. And, you know, when you're praying like that all the time and, and, and God needs somebody at that moment, He knows, based on your consistency, that if He shoots a request to you, you're going to lift it up in prayer. You know, we're in a partnership with God. It's God's, this, we're together. It's just not God's deal. It's, it's, we're here too. You know, I mean, I guess it's for those who take it serious. I take it serious. Uh, my life with God is, is, is everything. And, you know, it scares off a lot of friends. A lot of, you know, I've had friends back when I was, just became a Christian. You know, I was during the Jesus movement. And, I mean, I was Jesus this and Jesus that. And, I was, man, I was preaching everywhere. I had people just didn't want to talk to me anymore. People didn't even want to call me. Did, just didn't want, my friends just didn't want to hang around me. They, that's, even though most of my friends were Christians, they just couldn't see the point in talking about Jesus so much. Interesting, huh? I'm going to spend eternity with them. I know you guys who are Christians, uh, you are too. And I, I believe I'm in a partnership with Him. And so I'm just going to keep praying. And I'm just, uh, I, I guess this video is, uh, is, a, is a word to you to say, hey, it's okay. It's okay to lift up the name of Jesus on videos on your blog, in your emails, in your texts, you know, in, in your phone calls, out and about in your day. You don't know when you're at the grocery store and someone needs prayer. You're there. You're in the laundromat. And someone needs prayer. Holy Spirit's going to say, hey, they need prayer. You begin praying. Miracles. I, I, I would have to say that Nearly every day that goes by, I see miracles. I see wonders. I see signs from God. All following my walk with Him. So I just encourage you. I guess this video is just an encouragement to say, yeah, it's okay to pray. It's okay to lift up the name of Jesus. And just step out. Step out of that comfort zone and start to build that relationship with, uh, with God. And... Uh, and when I say God, I mean the Creator God, not some mystical, uh, universal intelligence that is often never, never land, that we don't know who it is. You know, <laughs> whatever. You know, people, people do what they want to do. We're all free to choose what we want. And, uh, but I choose Jesus, and uh, I choose heaven, and, uh, you know, 
I choose life. And that's what Jesus said. I came into this world to give you life and life abundantly. And I would have to testify that I have an abundant life. You guys take care. God bless. Talk. Ciao. Bye.